Hello everyone, welcome to the financial information channel. My name is Marvin. In this video, I'm going to give you five dividend stocks that are really good because it has the potential to have a huge growth and at the same time, the dividend yield is over 2%. And these stocks are basically gonna be mentioned based on the highest price first. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna mention one stock that didn't make the cut However, I think it's going to raise the dividend yield in the next few years. Now, let's begin with the video. Now, the first stock is going to be Boeing. Now, the price for Boeing at this moment is over $200. And that might be a little bit expensive. But when you consider the growth of this company along with the dividend yield, then it makes sense for this stock to be at that price. And the dividend yield is at 2.81%. And I think they're going to be able to keep that yield, uh, that percentage, or even increase it in the next few years. Now, when you take a look at the EPS, the EPS is over $8, and the dividend that they pay for the year is under $6, and the dividend pay rate is a little bit over 57%, so that leaves a little bit of cash, so they can either pay some of the debt or put it in the balance sheet. Now, I'm going to put on the screen how much the company has gone up in the last five years, three years, and one year. So during the five years, the company has gone up almost 175%. And during the last three years, and in during the last year, it has gone up around 58%. Now, how secure is the company for paying that dividend? Well, in the screen, you're going to see that this company has paid the dividend for the last 75 years. So it is one of the safest companies based on history that you can actually invest and expect to receive some type of dividend. Now we're going to go to the next company and the next company is PepsiCo because this company has been very good managed during the last few years and I'm actually surprised because one of the first companies when I started investing was Coke because I thought that actually Coke had a better dividend and it was a better company and during the last few years PepsiCo has been the best company. And in my opinion, it has a better dividend when you combine it with the growth of the company. Now the dividend yield is 2.71%. The EPS is $4 with 64 cents. And the dividend that they pay for the whole year is $3 with 22 cents. And even though that it might not seem like a huge difference, when you combine it with the history of this company paying dividends, I would say one of the best safe companies that you can invest your money. Now on the screen you will see the dividend stats and the dividend payout rate is 65% of the company and that still leaves around one third of the cash that they generate for the year to either pay some of the debt or use it to put it in the balance sheet. Now PepsiCo has raised the dividend for the last 44 years. So you know you're gonna get some type of dividend with this company. Now to be fair, Coke has actually raised the dividend for the last 55 years, but when you take into account that Coke isn't growing as much as it used to do before, then I think this company is a little bit better. Now, when you take a look into the screen, PepsiCo has gone up around 64% uh, during the last five years, and it has gone up around 28% during the last three years, and around 7% during the last year. And even though that's not a huge amount, and when you consider this company and compare it to Coke, you will see a huge difference. Coke has only gone up around, I believe, 14% during the last five years, around 5% during the last three years, and during the last years, they're actually in the negative, which is around 1%, I believe. And even though most people see that Coke pays a bigger dividend, that doesn't mean as much. And as you have seen in the previous statistics, PepsiCo has been a better company out of the two. And the next company is JP Morgan and Chase. And that company is located into the financials. And the dividend yield at this moment is 2.13%. Now, what I like about this company is that they, if you take a look at the statistics in the screen, uh, you will see that they have an EPS of $6 and the dividend is around $2. So I'm going to put on the screen the dividend statistics. And as you have seen, the payout rate is around 28%. And as you have heard on the news, the interest rates are continue hitting a little bit higher. 
So that means that the revenue for most financials are gonna continue, you know, improve during the next few years. And I'm gonna put on the screen the number of times that the company has increased the dividend since 2009. And as you see in the screen, uh, JP Morgan has increased the dividend six times. Only Wells Fargo has increased the dividend more times. Now let's take a look how the company has grown during the last five, three and one year. During the last five years, the company has gone up over 176%. During the last years, over 61%. And during the last year, over 54%. So that gives the company a really good growth if you think about it. And it gives the company an opportunity to increase the dividend during the next few years. And the next company is going to be Microsoft. And this company actually surprised me in my opinion. Now the dividend yield is about 2.25%. And if you take a look into the EPS, the EPS is $2 with 27 cents. And the dividend that the company pays, it is $1 with 56 cents. First, let's take a look at the payout rate. The payout rate is 66%. So it still has around one third of the cash to either continue paying the debt, buying some of the shares for the company, or continue increasing the dividend. And in 2016, they announced that they have increased the dividend for the last 14 years. So I expect this company to continue increasing the dividend this year. They actually make the announcement during September. Last year, the company increased the dividend by 8.3% and during the last five years the company has gone up over 130% and during the last three years it is a little bit over 55% and during the last year over 35% and you might think why not Apple and Apple might have a better revenue and balance sheet but the dividend is not there at this moment and even in the growth because the company hasn't grown as much as Microsoft during the last few years. Now let's take a look at Apple for example. During the last five years Apple has grown up a little bit over 66% and during the last three years a little bit over 52%. So it is actually lower than Microsoft. During this year the company has actually outgrown Apple because Apple has grown over 50% and I think it's because the company is going to release a new iPhone and that is usually what happens when Apple releases a new design iPhone. What I do like about Apple is that the payout rate is a, is a little bit over 26% so they have the opportunity to increase a little bit more than Microsoft and I don't think that is going to happen within the next five years and that is one of the reasons why I chose Microsoft. The Microsoft growth is actually really good and the dividend is a little bit better and I think it's gonna be a little bit better for the next five years. And the next company is gonna be the Dow Chemicals. Now I'm going to put the information in the screen for this company. So the company has an EPS of $4 and the dividend under $2. So they actually have a good payout rate. The dividend yield for this company is 2.88%. And I'm gonna put on the screen the payout rate so you can get the exact percentage, which is almost 45%. And in the forward dividend yield, they are expected to continue having the 2.88%. And the Dow Chemicals are one of the newest companies that has raised the dividend. And I wouldn't say newest because the company has raised the dividend for the last six years. And it is one of the best managed companies. It has a good price to earning ratio. And at the same time, it continues to improve every year. During the last five years, the company has gone up over 102% during the last three years over 23% and during the last year the company has gone up over 32% so as you have seen I have chosen five different dividend stocks that are into different sectors and of course you gotta keep in mind that there are many dividend stocks in addition to the companies that I have mentioned in this video. Now I'm going to mention another company that didn't make the list and I think this company is probably gonna be one of the best dividend stocks in the next few years. And that company is gonna be Bank of America and let me explain why this company didn't make the list and why I think it's gonna be one of the best. Let's take a look at the following article and it said that Bank of America had the dividend since 1993 I believe. The company grew from 70 cents from 1997 to $2 with 40 cents 
in 2007. So in 2007, 2008, we had the financial crisis. So Bank of America went from paying $2 with 24 cents to only 4 cents in 2009. That was around 98% decline in the dividend. And I think Bank of America has the potential to recover and I'm probably gonna have a good dividend in the next few years. Now I'm gonna go over the numbers real quick. They have a dividend yield of 1.21%. The EPS is $1.62 and they only pay 30 cents in dividends. And this is a good payout ratio. It's only 16%. So they have a huge potential to increase the dividend at least by 1% in the next few years. And as a growth company, Bank of America has grown over 224% in the last five years, over 60% in the last three years, and a little bit over 90% in the last year. And I think the Bank of America share price in 2008, when we had the financial crisis, was around $56, I believe. And one of the reasons why this company didn't make the list is because JP Morgan Chase is a better value at this moment. And well, that is gonna be everything for the video. Please leave in the comment sections below what is your favorite dividend stock? Maybe it was one of the companies mentioned in this video or another company that you might have under your account. And subscribe to the financial information channel. I'm going to continue bringing more videos about the stock market, personal finance, and how to make money online. And as always, I wanna thank you once again for watching the video. Have an excellent day and take care of my friends.